The mystery of time. Every time we think about matter, we should think about the thought waves that created it. The physical universe is a creation of mind. Matter vibrates, it is movement. But matter has no substance of its own and does not move by itself. The only thing that moves is the mind. The substance of matter is mind. It is difficult, from the limited perception of the physical senses, to admit this fact. Education and culture through, we begin to perceive and accept a reality made of separate parts in which matter and the physical world is independent of the observer. However, the density of matter is nothing more than the accumulation of thought waves at different pressures, generating gravity and curving space. This is an electrical phenomenon. All matter is polarized, that is, it is charged. The physical universe is made of polarized light, that is, light, which is information and energy, divided into two poles. This was already explained in another post. Likewise we should consider time as an accumulation of thought waves. Waves accumulated during innumerable cycles in the formation of bodies and the physical world. Just as these thought waves give matter its density, shape, texture, and other dimensions, they also add time to matter by lengthening the time intervals needed to repeat that body. Thought waves accumulate time in the same way that they accumulate mass. Material bodies are simply coiled waves. Packed energy, for a while. That time is also packed waves. A thought wave is extremely fast. In fact it can reach a speed of 300,000 km per second, just like light. In fact thought is light. It is a wave that carries information and energy. This speed of light is the maximum limit to which one can travel in this physical universe. Beyond disappears time and space as we know it. But consciousness exists beyond the physical world, in fact it is creating it at every moment. So it can move faster than light. As these thought waves accumulate in masses of matter, they slow down in frequency, become denser, and thus prolong their cycle of waxing and waning, appearing and disappearing, in proportion to the mass of waves packed into that body. This concept is difficult to assimilate because from a young age we get used to perceiving matter and the physical world in a static and fixed way, as if things were created and disappeared by themselves. It is easier if they talk to you about waves of a physical nature, visible light, sound, waves, etc. However, thought is vibration, it is movement, and everything that moves is in the form of waves, waves that carry information and energy, and these waves can accumulate generating charge, density, mass and time. We can call them waveforms, or even, waves that give shape. The lifetime of any creation in nature is given by the accumulation of thought waves in that body. If you still have difficulties conceiving what thought or light waves are, think of something that vibrates. Electricity, energy, sound, shapes or colors, it doesn't matter, what you imagine best is worth it, because that imagination is precisely thought waves. Thought is light. Light is movement. Movement is time. Thought is time and matter. Time and matter are united, both are light. Without movement there is no time. Without time there is no matter, neither life nor death. It can take a tree many years to complete a life-death cycle, consuming thought wave patterns accumulated in its body, unfolding from its seed, maturing, and refolding the record of these patterns back into it. Appearance, disappearance and reappearance deployment, withdrawal, etc. Insect life and death cycles can range from minutes to months. In animals it can range from years to decades, while in suns and galaxies, the accumulation of thought waves can take billions of years to complete a life-death cycle. Any other cycle in nature that has a frequency of repetition follows this principle, be it the seasons of the year, breathing, sleep, the sexual cycle, hormones or digestion. Gestation periods are also prolonged in relation to the accumulation of thought wave patterns on top of other wave patterns, producing complex bodies. 
When the wave patterns accumulate, they interfere with each other, creating a true holographic matrix. A mold from which the form arises and returns to it. The physical world is a projection of this thought matrix. The duration of a body is the time it takes to develop all the wave patterns accumulated in it. The greater the accumulation of thought waves, the greater the duration or the time consumed by that body to complete its cycle of appearance and disappearance. The more thought waves, that is, waves of energy and information, your body stores, the longer it will last. In humans, the loss of this charge is related to the person's unbalanced way of life and beliefs. Mental disorder, illnesses, life habits affect the length and quality of the individual's life cycle. Spiritual alchemy causes a reversal of this uncontrolled flow. Through mental control, breathing and body postures. When the system is in equilibrium, the energy expenditure is minimal. It is about stopping thinking of matter as something fixed and inert and perceiving it as vibration and as a flow of time. The present moment, or, the awareness of now. Each conscious experience is a discrete moment, that is, separate, that is linked to the next moment forming a flow in time, or rather a collage of arbitrarily organized moments, whose continuity is an illusion of memory. Even this chain of thoughts that creates a true stream of knowledge, is made up of residual information in memory, subconscious programs and other vibrations that we do not register and are not even our own. The collective unconscious falls into this package. In any case, we consciously perceive ourselves as a continuity, a flow of time, and this apparent flow of time can also vary. It is relative. Time and existence are one. Without time there is no existence. Existence creates time. Time and existence are relative. Time and existence are an illusion. We all experience the relativity of time. Faced with extreme or non-ordinary situations, the notion of time changes. During sleep the perception of time varies. Being disconnected from the physical senses drastically modifies the geometry of space-time. In other words, reality, allowing consciousness to expand and change dimension, or universe, by not finding the limits of physical perception or conscious thought. The faster consciousness moves, the slower time passes. This illusion is related, as we have seen, with the frequency of vibration and the accumulation of thought waves. The more energy and information a body accumulates, the slower its degradation will be and the faster its consciousness will move. Mental speed, like other cognitive abilities, also depends on neural connections and the state of the physical system, that is, the brain hardware. We have the ability to modify brain hardware by creating new neural connections and networks. Given the plasticity of the brain, with adequate training a person can change their mental programming, improve data processing, increase the number of neural connections and optimize brain function, which translates into greater intelligence and expansion of their consciousness. This provides a greater number of possibilities as the brain manages more information simultaneously. Another of the strange characteristics of consciousness is the temporal synchrony of sensory stimuli. Even simple acts like walking involve an enormous amount of sensory stimuli, energy and information, that are coordinated in complex ways to give us a sense of unified perception. Tactile sensations from feet in contact with the ground travel via sensory nerve pathways in a rather long and slow journey, due to conduction times and synaptic delays, through the legs and spinal cord to the brain. Dot. But the visual information of seeing our feet in contact with the ground reaches our brain much faster through the optic nerves. However, we perceive visual and tactile information as simultaneous. Our conscious perception is not synchronized. We see our feet hit the floor and a fraction of a second later we feel them hit the floor, 
but we remember them as synchronized. The brain makes a global review of the event. This implies that our vision of reality is purely a construction, that is, an illusion. In other words, it does not exist by itself. Another explanation is that fast perceptions, such as vision, are delayed to wait for slow perception, that of touch. This implies that we would be constantly living in the past. Our consciousness lags behind reality. There is another fact. Experimental evidence suggests that the brain refers information back in time. We talk about present, past, future, but essentially there is no separation. Every point of existence contains its past, its present and its future. From this here and now we can send and receive information from all directions of time and space. And in fact it is what happens, although we are not aware of it. You can modify a memory, purify it, embellish it or illuminate it, and this simple action will illuminate our present. In the same way you can send information into the future, subtly modeling the geometry of space-time with a purpose or intent, and at the same time receive information from the future. Surely our being of tomorrow will be remembering this today in the same way that our being of today remembers yesterday. It truly is closer to magic than science. It is difficult to comprehend this consciously since conscious experience moves forward in time, from past to future, and thought inevitably tends to categorize and shape things. But in the world of the spirit everything is possible. It's a matter of probabilities. The intention is decisive. Tent is the focused purpose. It is consciousness focused on something. In the microscopic world of particles and atoms, Consciousness generates energy and information density at any point and this modifies, curves and models the geometry of space-time, that is, the substrate of reality. If you change the information at one point, the whole universe changes with respect to that point. That point is time and existence. We are made of dots. Our existence contains an infinity of points. However, a point has no dimensions, that is, it has no physical existence, neither form nor time, and in turn the point contains all forms and all times. Time is to be. Being is time. Outside of this there is nothing. Infinity is within you. The ocean of infinite possibilities is your mind beyond conscious thought. To access that level you must enter through the heart and accumulate personal power with method and discipline, the rest is done alone. If you want to unravel the mystery of time and existence, you must move to another place of perception. Move your mind with your desire and your imagination, and thus you will penetrate to the heart of all things. Thanks for following our videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, it helps us spread knowledge.